The world's largest gaming festival has officially kicked off in Saudi Arabia with the first ever esports World Cup attracting over 1,500 gamers from around the world. The event offers a prize pool of more than $60 million across 22 tournaments featuring 21 popular games including Call of Duty, Warzone, and Rocket League. Faisal bin Hamran, chief product officer at the Esports World Cup Foundation, expressed excitement for the upcoming eight weeks of intense competition that will transform the gaming and esports landscape. The tournament will culminate in the crowning of the world's first esports World Cup club champion based on club performances across various game championships. Viewers can catch all the action on YouTube or DAZN, a sports streaming service. The event showcases the top talent from Global League of Legends teams and promises to be a historic and era-defining spectacle. The League of Legends tournament will feature eight teams competing in a single elimination bracket with the winning team receiving $1 million and club points towards the final club championship. Fans can follow the action on Twitch and YouTube, with VODs available for missed matches. The Esports World Cup aims to establish Saudi Arabia as a hub for gaming and esports, with the Saudi Arabian government seeking to appeal to the younger generation. However, the event has faced criticism and boycotts from some teams, players, and commentators due to moral concerns surrounding the partnership with the Saudi government. The event's extravagant prize pool and production costs raise questions about the profitability and motives behind hosting such a large-scale esports event. Despite the controversies, the Esports World Cup continues to draw attention from gaming enthusiasts worldwide, offering a platform for top players to showcase their skills and compete for substantial rewards.